Ironman Hawaii 70.3 2023 is officially over. Let's take a look and deep dive on the WHOOP data. So the goal was to wake up in the green the morning of the race. Like any athlete has experienced, waking up in the green on the day of your event when there's a little bit of nerves, it's tough to get in some good sleep. I did my best. I woke up 54% recovered. I woke up feeling really good despite the uh, lack of sleep and was excited to get out there and get going. So if we break down each event, we start with the swim, the cycling, and then the running. So in the morning, we hopped in the water, we swam 1.2 miles. And if we take a look at the swim analytics, I was in there for about 43 minutes and I primarily just stayed in zone four. Now this is a big learning lesson because for the first event, you don't want to be in zone four. Yeah, it's expected, you, you jack your heart rate up, it's the first event. A learning lesson for me is if I could have kept that heart rate in zone three, maybe slow down a little bit, maybe breathe a little bit better, um, I think that would have made me just feel stronger throughout the day. We ended up burning 644 calories. Our average heart rate was 163 and our top end heart rate was 181. I felt really good on the swim. It was an amazing swim. And then exiting out of the water, I sliced my toe on a coral reef and completely gashed my big toe open. And I noticed that on transitioning into the bike. Slice my foot open. Oh no. So 30 seconds into the ride, I realized my gears weren't working. So I have electronic gears that were not working and ended up taking 15, 20 minutes to get a mechanic to come and fix it. There was a wire that was popped out. So that was the first malfunction. Um, and then we were off for the bike ride. If you take a look at the bike analytics, we see it's a 20.2 strain. So if we look deeper into that, it was split between a zone three and a zone four ride. So it was starting to get really, really hot on the highway. And I think the temperature was around 85, but it was starting to feel like it was like 95, 100 degrees. It was getting really hot. Um, so it was tough to keep the heart rate lower. I did my best to stay hydrated, keep my nutrition up. It was overall just a really, really tough ride. If you take a look at the analytics below, we burned 2,614 calories our average heart rate was around 142 max heart rate was 174 um, total time spent on the bike was four hours the reason why it was four hours is because at the top of the hill at mile 30 my gears went out again and it took 45 minutes 50 minutes to get a mechanic to come and fix it and it was just a really really frustrating day on the bike just because of malfunctions things that are out of my control really seem to test my patience and test my character got back on the bike really pushed it hard to make up some time and then by the time i got off the bike my body was just so tired from really pushing really hard to get back and cramping <sighs> and was dealing with some pretty gnarly cramping. We transition into the run now. The run was a beast. It was out here on the golf course. We we're going through hills, we we're going through grass, and it was a very, very challenging run. And the total run strain was 17.9. If we take a look at the deeper analytics, it was mainly a zone three run, which is right where I wanted to be for that run in zone three, which is awesome. But the reason why I was in zone three, I believe is because I was dealing with cramping. So I had to go at a slower pace to be able to finish this race because um, it continued to get hotter and hotter and hotter. So I had no choice but to slow down and just really just trying to survive this this Ironman. It was, it was a brutal day. It was a lot of adversity to overcome and you know, it's just, it is what it is. That's what's so beautiful about the sport. It's truly just you versus you out there and you have to overcome anything that gets thrown your way. Overall, I was just happy to finish, you know, slicing my foot and be able to continue to go and get through the bike and get through the run when it was pretty, pretty painful to get through that race. If you take a look at the total day strain, we built up to a 20.7 strain for a total calorie burn of 6,602 calories. So pretty, pretty solid day of calories burned and really getting that body strain up. You know, it was just a beautiful experience overall to be racing out here and uh, just truly grateful to be able to push my body to its limits. And that's a wrap on Ironman Hawaii 70.3 2023.